All right, everyone, welcome to another video. Today, we're going to be talking about the Young Avengers, of course. Uh, we had their blog post on Friday, and now that we've seen the increases to the stats of the base stats for these characters, especially for the older ones, America Chavez, uh, Squirrel Girl, and Miss Marvel, we can calculate what that's going to look like now in terms of how they're going to stack up to other characters. I've done videos like this in the past where I did it with Web Warriors back in December and with Ravagers, and then I compared them to more recent characters in terms of what it really looks like in the grand scheme of things for their stats, how powerful are they going to be now, and also with the new characters Kate Bishop and Echo we can see based on the roster shots that we saw in the uh, strike time even though you know all these stats aren't up on msf.gg we can still see and kind of have a rough idea of what it's going to look like in the whole picture of the team so sit back relax and let's get this party started okay so here we are with the young avengers spreadsheet yes so uh you guys may have seen this depends on how long you've been following the channel i did this in a very similar way unfortunately i wanted to color code uh different characters with different now they're all blue my apologies uh but in terms of this stuff we're gonna go through all of this one by one i know sometimes my spreadsheets are a bit confusing we're gonna zoom in a little bit there so we can see it a little bit better here depending on what device you're actually watching this on so this spreadsheet table is called the young avenge young avengers stat increases i can't talk apparently so we saw based in the blog post that they all received base stat increases squirrel girl america chavez and miss marvel to a varying degree on the left hand side here i have what they were increased by and then the way that we calculate this is you basically go up onto msf.gg take a seven yellow zero red zero iso character and then basically you take the stat numbers and that's what the old stats are and so the way you recalculate it is actually you're recalculating the base stats with the values here and then you get what's called the new value column and then you add the red stars and the isos on top of that and then you get the grand total at the end so we're going to start one by one here with squirrel girl and honestly squirrel girl is not a character that i really expected to see a lot of upgrades to um her health pool was actually pretty good already I don't know if you guys saw, you know, I, I talk about Squirrel Girl a lot, you know, in my various videos. I use her in Doom Raid 2 Bio right now, and, and I'm actually going to even continue to do so with this bump in her sass, because it's going to make her look even better than she already was. So I'm really excited about this. I have some special notes, just mainly related to their passives in terms of, like, what else you're going to get with this team as a team, you know, or standalone, and that makes up for some of the other stats here. So, she saw a 20% health stat boost, 25% damage, 114% armor. Now, fun fact here about Squirrel Girl, Squirrel Girl had the worst armor stat in the game. Do you believe it? Did you believe it? Because I did not. I had no idea how bad Squirrel Girl's armor was, or is, I guess, you know, pre-patch, you know, she's actually the worst after all of the characters that have zero armor. So, King, yeah, so Kingpin, Scarlet Witch, Swarm, and there might be one more character have zero armor and she's the next worst after that and i had no idea she was literally bottom of the barrel aside from the zero armor characters so what does that mean well 114 percent is quite a bit but because her armor was so trash to begin with it actually just kind of elevates it to like still really bad but not as bad so some people might have saw the 114 percent armor I'm like wow that's a lot and it is but her stat was so shit that it actually doesn't really elevate it a ton after that. So we'll take a look. You can kind of probably already see some of it. If you're jumping ahead, you can kind of see the ratings at the side here. So 14% focus, 14% resistance. So based on the way that I do the calculations, like I mentioned in the beginning, so you take a seven yellow, zero red stats, you, you get the base, the new stats, and you're just multiplying this by the numbers here on the side and you get this then you take the red star so all of this is actually i forgot to put down all of this is level 85 seven uh seven yellow five red now why do i do this because these are old characters that are very easily farmable and so it's very likely that you know mid late mid game players or veteran players 
are going to have these characters at 7 yellow anyways, which means that you have access to that 5 red credential. And the reason why I do that is because 5 red is a really good place where a lot of people consider, you know, raising some of their older characters, especially the ones that have been reworked up to. Most of them don't go to like 6 or 7, uh, but a lot of people do take them to 5, you know, like Miles or OG Spider-Man. I took mine to 5, so, you know, 5 is a good place where you might just leave them there, and that's why I'm showing 5 red stats. So, they're all getting a 50% bump off of this new stat now. So that's all 50% here. Iso blue. Now this is not with striker in mind because if you're a striker character, uh, you do get more in the, in terms of the damage stat. So that's not included. We just use a general um, uh, blue two in this case. And I should mention that too, my bad, sorry. Blue Iso two. This is blue Iso two, not blue Iso three. So the total amount of stat gains for this is 14% because blue ISO 2 represents 7 levels worth of ISO. And then you're getting more health because you get 10% health at green 2, green 4, and blue 2. So that's 30% health on top of the general 14%, giving you an increase of 44% on the previous stats. Now the way that the stat calculation works, for those of you who are unfamiliar, this is all based on the new category. You're not stacking this with the red. You're not calculating the red first and then the blue. I th all of this is just added onto the new stats. So when it comes to the abilities, however, so Squirrel Girl does have a 25% increase in max health for herself and the entire team. This calculates all of the add-ons. So the new stats, the red star stats and the iso stats so if you see here it's maybe hard to see but i basically added these three columns together these three lines together and then i times it by 0.25 and then you get kind of what's her grand total when you add everything up here it's about 700 000 hit points now this is at seven yellow five red level 85 uh gear tier 15 sorry i i forgot to add that too i'm kind of adding as i go along apparently i should have had this there gear tier 15 not 16 because realistically I think gear tier 16 is just not a, a reasonable place to kind of share stats because a lot of people don't are not having that right you know so gear tier 15 is I think maybe even that's a bit high gear tier 14 might have been better uh, but you know given how easy it is I guess now for a lot of people to get gear tier 15 if you want to I, I think that that's okay too so this is a level 85 7 yellow, 5 red, blue ISO 2, gear tier 15 character, all of this. All these stats represent that. So 700k hit points. What does this mean? Well, she's equivalent to about a death pool. So when I have character equivalents in this column, um, I'm kind of giving a shout out to more recent characters where I can, just so people are kind of aware what the stats look like. So she's basically a death pool in hit points. That's very good. She's also in the top 10 now. Squirrel Girl is in the top 10 of all of the characters in the game as far as maxed out hit as, as far as their hit points go. For the damage, now believe it or not, with the bump, Squirrel Girl is as strong as Icarus, as far as raw damage stat. So obviously we know Icarus is super effing powerful because of his kit, but as far as the pure damage stat goes, she's equivalent to Icarus. So yeah, believe it or not, that's actually where it lands. This puts her in a very good category of top 15 damage stat in the game for Squirrel Girl. Believe it or not, this is true. This is what happens. Uh, Iron Fist, however, this is the character equivalency for her armor. This is not very good. This is actually in the bottom 25 of all the characters in the game. So yeah, we saw that 114% armor increase. At the end of the day, it actually doesn't mean a whole lot because his armor is still pretty bad. However, she's got a really huge health pool. So that, you know, you can't have the best of both worlds. I think if she had such a huge health pool and her armor was really high, I think she would just be a mega tank, a mega heal tank. And that's exactly why it didn't happen that way. So this was kind of expected. Her focus stat is also really good, equivalent to a Ghost Spider, which is actually a top 15 in the game. You can see a lot of her rework stats actually puts her in a very good position. Uh, her resistance is equivalent to Scarlet Spider, which is still above average. Uh, she actually lands in the top 30 for resistance. So overall, Squirrel Girl, who didn't really need the buffs that much because her stats were already really good, saw a pretty significant increase to this. So I'm really happy about that. I don't know about you, if there's any Squirrel Girl fans out there like me, I do have a 7 red. And just for just for shits and giggles, you know, let's see. Let's change some of these stats, especially the health. So we can change this to what would it look like with a 7 red. My 7 yellow, 7 red. And so this would be 75% instead of 50%. Her health goes from 700,000 to 783. But then when you calculate this when it comes to war, 
this is going to change even more and we're going to take a look at that just for just for pure giggles at the end of the video we're going to say you know on the war defense with all the buffs that you get from the rooms and all of that what can i get my squirrel girl's health to that'll be at the end so we're going to change this back to 50 percent because that's the purpose of this spreadsheet here we're going to be talking about oh and, and for the record uh, if you didn't remember from the blog post, a uh, squirrel girl did get a bump both on max health and drain. So they went from 20 to 25%. So just in the notes here really quickly, America Chavez. Now this is quite interesting. So she saw the reworks on the side here, 33% to health, 25 damage, 20 armor, 25 focus and 36% resistance. So again, the same old new, I'm not going to go over this again. We already did this with squirrel girl, red stars, ISO blue too. Now this is not striker. A lot of people are recommending striker for America Chavez. That'll bump her damage up even higher. And when we look on the side here to what she's equivalent to, it's actually pretty interesting. So the totals for her health is really good. Now she's actually equivalent to dagger, believe it or not. And that puts her in the top 15 of all health pools in the game. Wow. And this is without the passive from squirrel girl or the rest of the team this is just her stand alone because she also gives max health which is really really nice her damage stat equivalent to dr doom top 10 in the game can you believe it can you believe that america chavez actually has a damage stat top 10 in the game or at least she will and before this it actually wasn't too bad i believe she was in the top 30 actually prior to this rework so it wasn't that bad to begin with now the question is yeah the question is why why did it not feel impactful why did america chavez never really feel that good to begin with and i think the question for this is that because maybe it was just based on her kit uh maybe people never really bothered to gear her very high you know if you guys remember her her shooting star that's the name of her special i think uh the more characters she has on her team whether it's hero brawlers or young avengers she gets an increase to the damage and i think nobody just really bothered to gear her because you know why she was very in a mediocre team at the time so really interesting on the damage stat now armor she kind of suffers in the same way that squirrel girl does here again equivalent to iron fist so you can see here if you can see at the top very minor difference literally like 14 armor better than squirrel girl at this point again this is kind of in the bottom 25 so not very good here her focus and resistance also above average so focus is relevant to relative to scarlet spider which is above average and a top 30 uh, her resistance is ghost spider related and also a top 50 so not as good necessarily as squirrel girl here but still i think that she'll still be able to do what she needs to do on her focus because she does have a lot of debuffs she i think cleanses or flips was it now on war defense with her ultimate so i think she'll still be able to do this and i don't think that'll be a huge problem now special notes for america chavez uh she does reduce enemy drain by 100 percent on war defense so this is designed to screw infinity watch uh unfortunately we are not able to test this at this time but you know maybe we will uh in the coming days as we get closer to the patch or when the patch goes out you know hopefully maybe on the test server for example we might be able to do some testing on that and that would be a lot of fun to do now she also reduces enemy damage by 20 percent on war defense with three plus young avenger allies so again that's just across the board any team that goes up against her uh, against them that's going to happen which is pretty good now this has been getting a lot of attention here i'll, I'll, I'll highlight this on spawn fill speed bar by 25 percent for adjacent allies in war defense and it's not specific to young avengers so this part here i'm not going to be speaking too much about i will be doing a separate video for this i don't know in which the order that the videos will be released in, so it's possible that the video related to this may have already come out and if you haven't seen it then go watch it because i plan on talking a separate video completely about america chavez's passive because i think this might be something worth mentioning so let's move on to miss marvel we can see the increases to her across the board 17 percent to health 14 percent to damage 20 to armor 60 to focus and 48 to resistance so this is the new total here we could go to the end here uh she does get a 20 percent boost or sorry she does get a 25 percent boost to armor so that's included here so we're including that in the grand total in terms of her stats uh so what does this mean now and what does it look like so her total health is actually pretty good she is the de facto sort of tank off tank whatever you want she's constantly taunting uh for the young avengers uh she's equivalent to a silver surfer this is pretty good this lands are in the top 25 
pretty nice stats i think there for miss marvel in terms of the overall improvement this does not include what it looks like with the extra health that you're getting from america chavez which i also forgot to add in here because she gives 25 percent. sorry this should be here i'm not going to bother typing this in now but america chavez gives 25 percent and young um sorry squirrel girl gives 25 percent health so this total here only does not include any of that so her health is also going to be fairly large but she is equivalent to a silver surfer standalone now her damage stat equivalent to omega red this puts her in a top 25 in the game's roster which again i'm really impressed with the way that they do these uh base stat reworks because it really puts them on par with some of the existing characters in the game which is pretty nice i think as far as reworks go um some of the reworks in the past like a year ago or even half a year ago were not as generous as some of the ones now so the base stat reworks are quite generous now and i'm really happy for that now in terms of her armor it's okay it's not uh, no actually sorry i take that back it's actually pretty bad <laughs> it's not as bad as the two above uh but it's not very good it's equivalent to a baron zemo in this case uh bottom 50. but one thing that i do want to note is that miss marvel does get a lot of deflects so i think that's to make up for the fact that she doesn't really have very good armor is that she's deflecting she's reducing the damage that's oncoming uh because of those deflects so i guess that's the intention there uh her focus is average she's like pretty much really in the middle of the pack here uh character equivalent for this is moon knight that's the closest i could come honestly in terms of like the newer characters uh her character equivalent for resistance again not new character but re uh, equivalent to beast uh, however uh, she is an above average resistor she has a top 30 resistance in the game after the rework and so that's pretty good there additional notes for her she gets 25 percent additional armor for the young avengers and 25 percent to the health for young avengers now one thing that I, that I had to ask a few people and i had to ask the envoy channel which i haven't had a response back and i want to double back to the internet for the blog post actually for this before we talk about it more uh where is the rework here for miss marvel it's here so it doesn't say that she gains 25 percent additional max health it says that she gives it to the team but if you notice here for the armor, it says she gains 25% additional armor uh, when it comes to war defense that she also gives the team 25% additional armor. Uh, but it doesn't say that she gains 25% additional health. So I don't know if she actually gets an additional 25% health on war defense for herself or if it's just for the team so that's something i'm gonna have to look into uh some people were saying that yeah maybe she doesn't get 25 percent additional for herself and she's she's just giving it to the team she's being nice you know but she's not selfish enough to get an extra bit of stats for herself so moving on to some of the other characters we have kate bishop and echo now this was shown in the strike time video and for that i want to bring up the strike time video because some people were talking to me about this and uh what happened here is you guys can see here i'm going to full screen this a little bit this was the kate bishop stats from the strike time and this was without stark tech so i raised this in my discord channel but just to make people aware don't worry her stats are actually better than what is supposed to be here so this i you know even though it's shown here it's shown without stark tech so that's really really important to note here i think actually you know what yeah i think i did adjust this for stark tech so that's really important here so this is basically kate bishop here with striker green five we were sent out in the envoys were sent out an additional uh video that showed basically the stats with stark tech however it only showed with striker green five but i put this into msf.gg and extrapolated based on the displayed stats of the new version of kate bishop and echo what it kind of looks like here compared to some of the characters so you can see the stat numbers here are definitely a lot higher than what it showed just there in the strike time video which is good this is really good uh in terms of the character equivalencies you see a lot of kind of like very goods they're average or above average so health wise kate bishop is like t'challa so I don't, this is average actually it's somewhere in the middle if you guys remember when I talked about T'Challa in the past uh that you know T'Challa was a little bit of a glass cannon so for that point you know I I think that you have to keep things into perspective Kate Bishop is not a huge sort of uh she's not designed to be super healthy uh but she is a little bit healthier than we thought from the strike time in terms of her damage stat as well you know I like to choose the most relevant character equivalent characters here in this case her damage stat is also in the average category this means like right smack dab sort of in like the 80 90th type of character uh and this is captain marvel so her damage stat's not super high but she has stuff in her kits that allows her to get offense up so i think that's designed to sort of make up for her kind of mediocre average uh, mediocre damage stat here 
as far as the rest of the stats they're actually pretty good uh the armor stat is above average equivalent to ghost spider i think this was a top 50 i don't know why i put why i didn't put this down uh but it's actually pretty decent her focus stats also very similar to ghost spider in this case top 15 and resistance very good as well in the top 20 equivalent to cap sam so Overall, the rest of her stats are pretty good. I think the damage is intended uh, because of the offense up, like I mentioned. For the health, I mean, yeah, she's not a tank, right? She's uh, a controller. I forget what class she is. Uh, so that's the design there. Additional notes for uh, Kate Bishop is that she does get additional 25% resistance uh, for herself and the Young Avengers. So that explains why her stat for resistance is actually pretty good. But she does spread that to the rest of the team. Now, Echo. Again, same stuff as Kate Bishop. Striker Green 5 here. So her damage stat is through the roof. Much like T'Challa, then you can kind of see why. Because she's got a damage passive for herself and the team. So yes, her... And same with Ghost Spider, who also was very good here. Echo has a very high damage stat. But that's kind of about it. You can see a lot of red on Echo. So this is the displayed stats with Striker Green 5. Her health is actually above average. I think she's in the top 50. Uh, she is character equivalent to Lady Deathstrike. So for those of you who may be using Lady Deathstrike, I actually think that uh, it's pretty good, all things considered. Uh, but there's a few things that I don't like about Echo. Uh, her damage stat is through the roof. She's actually now a top three damage character. Uh, character equivalent would be like to Ghost Spider. She's not as high as T'Challa, uh, but she's just below that at that point. Uh, and this comes down to the damage passive that she has. Now, everything else other than the focus is kind of not good uh so her armor equivalency is daredevil yeah that's the closest equivalent i could find below average resistance below average with baron zemo her focus is pretty good though and she is kind of gonna need that based on her kit she needs to land slow if she doesn't land slow with her ultimate then she is uh, reducing turn bar speed bar uh when it doesn't land which is also good too uh top 25 on her focus uh but for her speed <sighs> boy echo is slow as f 98 speed for echo not very good actually this is pretty below average i would say in the in the bottom 50 percent of all of the characters in the game equivalent to punisher which is not very fast so i think you're gonna want to take advantage of that america chavez 25 percent speed bar probably that you get on the war defense but like i said uh, we're going to talk more about that in a separate video but yes her speed suffers the most here out of all of the characters so echo yes echo kate bishop and the rest of the young avengers this is how the stats and the kits uh shape up for her for them sorry on war defense obviously they're going to be getting a lot more when it comes to health and other stats being on war defense because you get things like uh, sorry, you get things like uh, the Barracks, 20% there. Med Bay, 40% in health. You get Cargo Bay, an additional 20% for more ready. Uh, you know, there's, there's how much is there? Like an additional, a lot of extra hit points, right? So 40% Med Bay, 20% Barracks, 20% Cargo Bay. That's 80%. And then 75% for Squirrel Girl, or sorry, 25 for Squirrel Girl, 25 for America Chavez, and 25 more for Miss Marvel. 75% for the team. 80% for the war bosses, 155%. So what I want to do is I want to take this squirrel girl, just for shits and giggles. I want to take this squirrel girl total. And then here in the abilities category, what I'm going to do, I think I can do it this way. And I'm going to ramp this up here. And I'm going to increase that 0.25, the 25% to, what did I say? 155%, right? So 1.55. My squirrel oh yeah so squirrel girl 1.4 million at five red what happens if you bump this up to seven red 75 percent 1.56 million hit points for squirrel girl with a seven yellow seven red because that's what i have this is my, what mine's gonna look like on war defense and that's with all of the room buffs here that i just added in on top of all of the team abilities the team passes my squirrel girl is gonna have rough and maybe more than this actually because it's only blue iso 2 i have blue iso 3 1.56 million hit points that squirrel girl could get up to now i'm not going to do that for every character because this is specific to my squirrel girl who is seven yellow seven red i basically maxed her out and this is a scary prospect because her healing is going to be based on her hit points and <laughs> it, it could possibly like full heal the team on the special that's just going off all the time so i am really excited this is just my preliminary stat video here on the young avengers 
I'm super excited about the possible potential here for this team. Obviously, we'll be talking more about this in the days to come, and especially as we get towards patch day. But yeah, wow. Um, it's pretty crazy. You know, my, my Squirrel Girl is like already base stats. I think it's, uh, sorry, her power level is sitting at basically 200k. So I'm super excited to see, you know, what more comes with this team. And of course, until next time, guys, uh, stay safe and healthy, and I'll see y'all later. Let me know all about the Young Avengers and what your thoughts are right now in the comments below. Boylan, signing out.